M0 FXB. Welcome to my channel. So here we are, we're on the UVIAJ hotspot and we're using my Elinco DJ MD5 DMR radio and we're actually on Talk Group 91. Now you can see the details of the, of the person speaking on my actual hotspot. I need to load the CSV file or the latest CSV file onto my Elinco. So some details are coming through, but not everything. You've got Richard there in New Britain. So this hotspot is quite an interesting one. You can buy two different types. You can buy this budget one that actually uses an operating system called OSTAR. Uh, or you can buy the R-Finder one, which uses an operating system called PiStar. So this one was about 110 delivered in the UK. And look, you've got a nice, um, it's actually, it's like a next-gen screen, but it's a TJC 2.2 inch screen. And you use the TJC editor, but this comes preloaded and you can actually buy these screens separately. And I've got one at home that I've connected to several, you know, I've tried it on different uh, hotspots that I've got MMDVM. So I'm very pleased with it. Also, by default, it finds the frequency that you're on as well. I didn't add that in at all. It found it on its own. You've got an RX showing there at the top. And then TX, when you TX, you've got your history, obviously the flag, DMR. It does show an IP address when I'm at home. It's not showing it now. And um, obviously these DMR, M uh, DJMD5 radios, they're basically the same as a any tone 878 more like an 868 i suppose it has got gps you've got gps showing up here and it would show our location if we go into the settings uh, we're in digi monitor batteries charged and it does do vhf uhf analog and it works well as good as the antenna you've got a couple of knobs there you've got the volume control and the channel change there's the volume channel change and then i'll just see if i can remember to find the GPS, so go down to GPS, select, uh, is it going to keep going, let's go, oh, information, GPS in four, and there is my location there, I think we can scroll through that by going up and down, so it's showing my, my GPS, sorry about not holding the phone straight, so I thought I'd show you, so what I do is I just pair this hotspot, which is linked to the username and password of my mobile hotspot so how do we do it we get our mobile phone we turn on mobile data then we push the button on the screen that says mobile hotspot that sends out a wi-fi signal uh, we i've set the pass username and password the same as my router at home so i don't have to mess around adding different passwords and i just go for a dog walk go for a dog drive i'm on the school run at the moment here in, in the southwest UK, and I just listen to Hubnet. Now, if I want to change talk groups, all I do is on my radio, I program the channels uh, that I want to know. At the moment, I've only got 91, I've got nine in there, so I can manually dial any talk group I like. How do you do that on this kind of radio? You hold down the zero. I'm not sure if it will let me do it when the woman's talking. Hold down the zero. Push hash to make sure it says group call. Then type the talk group number. Let's say it's 91. Key the mic. And when no one is talking, it will switch talk groups. Well, I think it's a fantastic little thing. If you have a look here, it's got a, it's obviously got a battery. And it's still 100% charged. And this lasts all day. Um, and it's, it's quite nifty. I have taken it apart. I've made some videos taking this apart. And it's inside. It's a USB board with a CH340 uh, sort of comes up and on your port check and on top of that is an mmdvm hat and it's vhf uhf and it's a duplex board we're working in simplex at the moment but it's actually a duplex board then there's a special sort of board that they put at the top here that runs the charging display amount also sends current to these big three yellow batteries that are in the bottom yeah and they're solid batteries, yeah? Um, and so it's taking the charge from a micro USB. Now you've got an on-off switch at the top here. I don't really use it there. But the other things are not USBs in this one. This is not the R Finder model. Um, but it takes the charge from the micro USB at the top, sends it to the board, the top USB board, which sends charge to the system 
the USB board and to your batteries at the same time. Uh, so I highly recommend it. Now I wouldn't go for the post the part the O Star one. It's a bit harder to configure. Pay the extra thirty forty pound. Get the O Star. Get the Pi Star one. Then you get a Raspberry Pi Zero in it, and that's actually good value because Raspberry Pi Zeros at the moment are a complete, uh, very highly priced. But thanks for watching my channel. Hope you find this interesting. Catch you on air seven three. Bye for now.